Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to basically examine a situation where you have uh, two edge pieces on the last layer that are swapped on certain puzzles, uh, three by three puzzles, such as the YJ heart, as well as the Zhisheng egg, and perhaps certain others. And the reason this happens on these puzzles is because you have equivalent edge pieces. What that means is that each of these edge pieces on this layer, the top layer, has an equivalent counterpart on the bottom layer, which is this little edge piece right here is equivalent to one of these two on the bottom layer. And so by swapping one of the edge pieces from the top layer to one of the edge with one of the edge pieces from the bottom bottom layer, we fix this situation where you could see two uh, edge pieces are basically swapped. And uh, another way this could manifest itself is if you place all of the edges in their proper positions as relevant to one another, then the center is going to be rotated 90 degrees. And uh, so the way we fix it is first we choose any edge uh, piece that we want, doesn't matter which one. Also I should mention we're ignoring the corner pieces at this stage, we're only focusing on the edges. And so let's say we want to choose this one and we're going to swap with uh, its equivalent part from the bottom. And so the first thing is to find which one is the equivalent one on the bottom layer. Looking at the bottom layer, we see since it's solved, all of these edge pieces are flush with the center. And so if take this piece, we do a 180 turn to move it in to the bottom, we see and we check if it's flush with the center, in this case it is. And so when we turn it back, we know that this piece is equivalent to this piece. And those are the two that we're going to swap. The way we do it is we hold this puzzle, so this piece on the bottom is on the left, this piece that we're going to swap on top is on the front, we'll place it right here, so this one's on the front, top, this one's on the left, on the bottom, we do an R turn, place this piece right here, we're going to use an edge placing algorithm to place this one in here and basically swap them, but we can't do it from this position, because if we place it in from this position as such, it's going to place it in upside down, we don't want that. So we have to do a UI turn here. We're going to place it in like this, basically, which is going to place it in right side up. The algorithm from this position is UI, FI, U, F, U, R, UI, R, I. This is a standard 3x3 three three edge placing algorithm. And uh, once we did this, you see it messed up the corner. We do a 180 uh, to U to place our corner piece back and it's not properly oriented, so while this R face is still facing up, you see it's not down, it's still up, from this position we do the basically the corner uh, rotating algorithm, which is RI, DI, R, D, RI, DI, R, D. We check, we place it down, we see it's flush with this bottom layer, so that means it's properly oriented, but we place it back up. We still need to do this algorithm two more times to fix all the bottom parts that we just messed up. We place in any corner piece, just uh, to flip it, doesn't matter which one. We do it two more times. R I D I R D R I D I R D once more. R I D I R D R I D I R D. We place back that corner piece that we took out before. <coughs> bring this right face back down. You see this uh, edge uh, piece was kicked out when we did the edge swapping, <clears throat> and it's right right up here. We do a 2U to place it here, and we put it in from here, from this side. The same side, when we put that first, when we did the swapping, we swapped in that edge from this position. Not from this position, but from this position, and from that same position we have to put this in, like this. Uh, and otherwise, if we put it in from here, it's going to cause another false equivocation situation, which I'll address in another video. From this position, we do the same algorithm we did before, which is UI, FI, U, F, U, R, UI, RI. Placed it in. Bottom layer is good. Now we do our basic algorithms on the top layer to fix everything. I'll show you that the edges are now fine. Okay, so if you look at the edges, you see now they are all flush. So uh, this fixes the situation with the edges 
And I'm not going to continue the style from here, because I explained that you could also get a false equivocation with the corners, which uh, I made another video about already posted. And this is basically how you fix the edges in this kind of situation. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.